All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this transformer and attempt to repair my doorbell. Um, I'm just gonna install a manual doorbell, just a basic doorbell right now with a lighted light button. Um, and then maybe down the line, I'll go ahead and install the ring that I purchased. I put this on here at first, this was red, but now it's green because I turned off all the lights in here. So it looks to be good now and it's not hot anymore. And I tested all these wires as well which are all reading as um, not hot. So now what I'm gonna do is, this is what we're gonna replace right here. I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna paint it over the screws. But looks in this one here. Okay, so now you wanna pop it off. I had to use my screwdriver to kind of get it off the paint. This is what we're working with inside. As you can see there's just two screws, I mean two screws, two wires here and they have them protected with the caps here. So I'm going to connect my new one to what they have here and then reinstall it. By the way, if you have a traditional transformer type setup um, in your home, this one, this transformer is in the closet. So it's mostly in somewhere like that, a closet or a basement, something like that. So you just wanna look around for something like that and that's your setup. Since I have a local hardware store close to me, I decided to go get it from the hardware store, but I will leave it in the description of this video in case you're not close to a hardware store. You can also purchase this from a supplier on Amazon. It's in the box, looks like your transformer here. We have some instructions as well. Okay, I use my tester again to check the wires in the back here to make sure everything is not nothing's hot um so i have my white wire so for this transformer this new one they want you to put all the white with the white and the black with the black so that's hot for this one and then um it has a ground on it as well which is that green is the grounding wire okay, i'm gonna release these wire connectors here there we go Okay, so I've connected all of the wires to the correct one. This was in the black, it was on the hot wire here. This is all the whites. So I use my wire stripper to reveal some of the wires so I can connect it to my transponder transformer here. I don't want to put it all back together until I know that it actually works. So um, I'm going to test it first and make sure that um, the doorbell works. I'm going to switch my doorbell button out with this one I purchased from Amazon. The one out there is broke so just wanted to go basic and then like I said later on I'll think about installing the ring I bought. Pop it out like this. There we go. See? Then it's releasing and revealing the wiring back here. So I see a red and I also see a blue here. Okay, so as you can see, I attached the red to one side and the blue looks like blue to be wiring to the other side. Screwed it in, the power is still off. Then I'm gonna close these two together like this and push it. Okay guys, I turn on the power and as you can see, the button is lit up. So the power is back on. So here's the moment of truth. Did you guys hear that? We are successful, we did it. Okay, so we know that the doorbell works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this all back into the wall, brace my screws, and we'll be all finished with this project. All right guys, so if yours is in a closet, that's how it should look um, if it's connected.